Students, welcome back to another video lesson. So, after nating illustrate yung rectangular coordinate system and its uses, at the same time yung pagplat ng mga points dun sa coordinate plane, so for this particular video lesson, we will be illustrating the linear equations in two variables. So, again, so yung linear equation in one variable na, ex na explain na sa inyo nung grade 7 kayo, so for this uh, particular year level, grade 8, so linear equations in two variables na yung topic natin. So, let's start. So, for our lesson objectives, we will be illustrating linear equations in two variables. And of course, we will be determining the x-intercept and y-intercept of a linear equation in two variables. So, the standard form of linear equation in two variables can be written in the form of ax plus by is equal to c where a, b, and c are real numbers, but a and b should not be equal to 0. So, ganyan po yung tamang format ng pagsulat po ng standard form ng linear equation. ax plus by is equal to c. Things to consider in determining the linear equations in two variables. So, ito po yung mga dapat yung tandaan para masabi natin na in given equations is linear equation siya in two variables. First, the highest degree for each variable is only 1. So, if we are talking about linear equations, the highest degree is only 1. Okay. Next, variables are to be added or subtracted only. So, wala pong ibang operations na makikita po dito, kundi addition and subtraction. Hindi po pwede dito yung multiplication and division. And of course, there are no radicals in the equation. So, wala po tayo dapat square root or radical symbol na makikita sa mga equation. So, otherwise, hindi po yun considered as linear equation. So, let's have examples of linear equations in two variables. Number one, as you can see, x plus 2y is equal to 8. So, bakit siya naging linear equation? It's because the highest degree is 1 for each variable. So, yung dalawang variable na sinasabi ko dyan is x and y. Okay. So, let's have x plus 2y is equal to 8. So, let's identify A, B, and C. So, A is 1. Okay. So, kapag wala pong katabing number yung X, understood the numerical coefficient is 1. Next, B. The numerical coefficient of Y, that is 2. And then, the constant term, that is 8. What about 5X minus 3Y is equal to 6? So, the value of A is 5. And the value of B is negative 3. So, again, hindi lang po siya positive. Meron po siyang operation na uh, negative. Okay, subtraction. So, kailangan po natin i-attach yung negative sign. And then, C, the constant term is 6. So, ganyan lang po kadali ang pag-identify ng A, B, and C. So, again, A, B, and C are real numbers. They should not be equal to 0. What else? 4x plus 3y is equal to negative 11. So, a is 4. And then b is equal to 3. And then c is equal to negative 11. Hindi po pwedeng magpalit yan na kung saan yung a, hindi po siya pwedeng maging numerical coefficient ng y. And then at the same time, yung numerical coefficient po ng x, hindi po pwedeng maging b. Okay, so, ax plus by is equal to C lang po lagi. Next, 2x minus 9y is equal to 5. So, a is 2, b is equal to negative 9, and then c is equal to 5. So, ayan lang po yung mga examples ng linear equations in two variables. So, let's have examples of nonlinear equation in two variables. So, para mas makita nyo yung difference between linear equations and nonlinear equations. Number 1, x squared plus y is equal to 9. So, paano siya naging nonlinear equation? Dahil po dun sa exponent na 2. Again, based sa definition po ng linear equation, dapat po yung highest degree is only 1. So, nonlinear equation po siya. Next, number 2. 3x raised to negative 2 minus 5y raised to 5y equals 1. Okay. So, kagaya lang ng number 1. So, again, yung highest degree po ng linear equation is 1. So, dito po kasi, 
Yung degree po niya is negative 2. So, wala pong uh, linear equation na may uh, negative na degree. Okay. Kahit na negative 1, negative 2 pa yan. Okay. This is also a non-linear equation. So, kahit po na may mga two variables po sila, x and y present po, again po, the highest degree is always 1 kapag linear equation. Number 2, x over y plus 5y is equal to negative 2. So, dito po sa x over y, andaan po, the operation in linear equation is only addition and subtraction. So, based po dito kasi yung operation niya is division. So, this is a non-linear equation. What about number 4? 2xy minus 7y is equal to 1. So, paano siya naging non-linear equation? Kasi yung operation po niya is multiplication. Bawal po yung multiplication. Like for example, xy. Pinag-multiply po yan. At wala, nang pong, wala pong linear equations na magkadikit po yung variable xy. O kaya yz. Okay, dapat ano po lang. Uh, Tiki isa lang po siya. Okay, so this is also a non-linear equation. And the last example, the square root of x plus 4y is equal to 16. So, what makes this as nonlinear equation? It's because there is no radical in the given equation. So, yun po kasing square root of x, radical po yan. So, bawal po yung radical, equation, radical sa linear equation. So, this is a nonlinear equation. So, how do we determine the x and y intercepts of a linear equation in two variables? So, for x-intercept, x-intercept is a point where the line crosses the x-axis. To get the x-intercept, we let y is equal to 0. The x-intercept is written as a0. So, yung x-intercept na to, point po siya na kung saan yung line dumadaan siya dun sa x-axis. And then, kapag y-intercept naman, it is a point where the line crosses the y-axis naman. To get the y-intercept, we let x is equal to 0. The y-intercept is written as 0a. Okay, so, tandaan nyo po yung pagsulat ng x-intercept at y-intercept. Kasi magkaiba po yan. Dun sa x-intercept, nauna yung number and then 0. Sa so, y-intercept naman, nauna yung 0 and then yung mismong number. So, let's find the x and y intercepts of the following linear equations. Number 1, x minus 3y is equal to 6. So, para kunin yung x intercept, so, we let y equal 0. So, magiging ganito siya, x minus 3y equal 6. And then, isa-substitute natin yung y is equal to 0 dun sa equation. So, x minus 3 times 0 equals 6. And then, x minus 3 times 0, that is 0, equals 6. So, the value of x is 6. So, paano natin isusulat yung x-intercept? So, nauna po yung number and then 0. So, our x-intercept 6 and then 0. What about y-intercept? So, y-intercept naman we set x to 0. Baligtad naman po. So, x minus 3y equals 6. And then, uh, isa-substitute natin yung x equals 0 sa equation. So, 0 minus 3y equals 6. That will become negative 3y equals 6. And then, we divide the whole equation by negative 3. So, y is equal to 6 divided by 3, that is negative 2. So, y equals negative 2. Now, paano natin isusulat yung y-intercept? So, isusulat po natin yung y-intercept. Nauna po yung 0 and then yung negative 2. So, yung x-intercept po ng equation natin is 6, 0. And then, yung y-intercept naman po is 0, negative 2. Next, 4x plus 3y is equal to 24. So, same process pa rin po. So, x-intercept. 
So, y is equal to 0. So, magiging 4x plus 3y is equal to 24. And then, 4x plus 3 times 0 equals 24. And then, 4x plus 3 times 0, that is 0, equals 24. Finally, 4x equals 24. And when we divide the whole equation by 4, so x equals 6. So, in ating x-intercepts, 6, 0. Next, for the y-intercept, we set x to 0. So, magiging 4x plus 3y equals 24. And then, 4 times 0 plus 3y equals 24. So, 3y equals 24. And then, we divide the whole equation by 3. So, y equals 8. So, yung y-intercept naman po natin dito is 0, 8. Okay. So, after natin i-discuss yung linear equations in two variables as well as yung pag-determine natin ng x and y intercepts, so our next lesson will be slope of a line. So, I hope may natandaan kayo, natutunan kayo sa linear equations in two variables. So, kasi magagamit nyo po yan sa pag po ng linear equations. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.